Hi, hello everyone. Welcome to Terra Special. In this video tutorial, we are going to see how to convert degree minutes seconds to decimal degrees. That is DMS to DD, and how we are going to import it to RGS. So as you can see here, these are my two fields. That is uh, longitude and latitude. I'm just copying the latitude and just pasting it separately. So the first step will be separation of these values to degree, minutes, and seconds. So as you can see here, this is 77 is uh, the degree, 11 is the minutes, 40.57 is the seconds. So how we are going to separate it? So this is the next step. Okay, just select this field, and you can see the option data. So you can see the option data. You can uh, select the option text to columns for separation we are going to use this function and we have to select the option fixed width once you have selected the option fixed width you can see the you can see here we have to separate the degree minutes and seconds go to the option next now we have to separate it just select the degrees and now we have to select the minutes and yeah finally seconds so this is the degree this is the minute and these are the seconds now give next and finish so once you have done it you can just see here it has been separated into degree minutes and seconds okay now we have to rename it so this is degree I'm giving D this is minutes, I am giving M and this is seconds, yes, okay. So we have to remove the unwanted fields here, I am just deleting the fields which are not needed. So you can see here, we have separated the degree minutes seconds. So in order to convert it into uh, decimal degrees, there is a formula for it. So we are going to the formula section here. So in order to convert to decimal degrees, this is the formula. We have to use degree plus minutes divided by 60. 60 represents. So we are going to convert this to minutes. And you can see here, we have to add it with seconds divided with 3. 3600 that is nothing but in uh, Nava there is around uh, 3600 seconds so you can see here this is minutes we have to divide it by 60 60 represents in the Nava you can see there is around uh, 60 minutes so this is the formula for it degree plus minutes divided by 60 that is nothing but in an hour you can see there is around uh, 60 minutes in it plus seconds divided by 360 that is in an hour there are around uh, 3600 seconds so we can get the decimal degrees using this formula so this is the formula for it so in an empty tab just uh, give equal to and select degree plus minutes divided by 60 you can see here minutes divided by 60 plus seconds divided by 3600 plus seconds divided by 3600 so we will be getting the decimal degrees so you can see here, this is the decimal degree, which we have got using the formula. So once you have got the answer, just drag, and drag it down. So that will be automatically converting it. So you can see here. So now we have got the decimal degrees. 
and we have to just rename it so this will be our longitude and we can delete the rest of the fields oh okay just copy it and paste it paste it as a value so that you won't uh, get the kind of problems and delete the remaining fields so we have successfully converted the longitude to decimal degrees likewise we have to convert the latitude so once again select the latitude and uh, you can see the option data under that you can find the option text to columns we have to select fixed width you next and separate the degree minutes and seconds degree minute and second just give next and finish so you can see here we have separated this will be our degree this will be our minute and finally this will be our second seconds remove the other fields so we have got the dms uh, but that is we have separated it now we are going to use the formula for it so once again i am just showing you the formula this is the formula now just select equal to degree plus minutes divided by 60 that is nothing but in and now there are around 60 minutes plus sorry plus seconds divided by 3600 so that is nothing but in an hour there are around 3600 seconds now just leave it once you have left you will be getting the values here just drag, drag it down so that will be automatically converted using the formula using this formula so we have got the latitude just you got okay instead of cut we can just use the function copy and paste it as a values so we have got the latitude so now you can just remove the other fields now these fields are not necessary so now you can see here we have converted the decimal sorry degree minute seconds to decimal degrees now we need to save this file go to the option file and select the option save and we need to just change the format right here so we are going to use csv file format so you can see here csv comma delineated so this is the file format otherwise you can also use the excel 97 2003 this both can be opened in rgs now just save it so we have saved the file now we are going to go back to the rgs i am just closing this file here and you can see here it is in dms to dd just closing it okay now go to the option add data now you can see the file here one is in excel sx and we have saved it in csv just add it so we have added the file here i am just opening and showing you the attribute here 
So you can see here we have got the latitude and longitude. Okay. Now just right click on this table and go to the option display X and Y data. Once you have selected the X and Y data, you can see here it is it has automatically selected the longitude and latitude. So the X field will be the longitude and the Y field will be latitude. It is always the vice versa. Now we need to select the coordinate system. So we are going to go with the geographic coordinate system. Okay. okay. Now select the option. Okay. 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 So you can see here it has automatically converted into a point shape file. So once we have converted it, now you can directly add the base map. So I'm going to go with the street view, just adding it here. It may take a few seconds here. So you can see here, you can see our points which we have. I'm just enlarging the points here. So you can see we have just successfully exported it into DMS to DD and we can just open it in RGS and we can also save it. You can change the colors. So you can see here. So finally we can just export it. Go to the option. You can see you can see here DMS to DD. Just select it and go to the option data. Now we can select export data in order to make it as a shape file. And then you can select the output folder. Just click here. You can save it as locations. Save it. You okay? So you can see here it has been successfully exported. You can just see here. So if you have any doubts, you can just ask in the comment section. Thanks for watching Terraspatial. Goodbye.